Hello guys and welcome to this series of shell scripting. In this video we are going to create a shell script which can be utilized to print the processes belonging to a particular user. So let's begin. Now the goal of our shell script is to print the processes that belongs to a particular user. We will be passing the name of the user from the command line and taking the username as an input it should print the name of the processes belonging to that particular user. Now before making the shell script let's see how we can do it without the shell script. So for that we can use the command that is ps and then give the option as dash u that means for the user and provide here any user name. So I can write here wiki. Okay, so it will give me the list of the processes that are run by wiki user. Now by default it will print us the process id, terminal id, then the time and the command for that particular process. Okay, now if we want to change these output parameters then we can use the option as dash o. For example, for the wiki user I can use the option here as dash o and then give here user that will print me the name of the user then PID which will give me the process ID then PPID for the parent process ID after that we can write here CMD that is for the what command has initiated that process then percent MEM which will tell us the memory consumption taken by that particular process and the percent CPU okay which will tell us about the CPU utilization by that process. So if I press enter you will see these output parameters are showing up okay. So it is giving us the name of the user basically the user that initiated that process then the process id parent process id command and then the memory utilization and cpu utilization. Now you can also sort it with the sort option so we can write here dash dash sort and we can give here any particular parameter for instance. If we write here percent mem okay that is for the memory then you will see it is sorted with the increasing order of the memory utilization okay first it was 0, 0.0 then 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 then similarly it is in the increasing order now this is in the increasing order if you want to make it in the decreasing order then you can give the option here as minus okay in this case you will see the processes that are having the highest memory consumption are at the top right. You can also use the PID, PPID in the sort option. So whatever you like you can provide it there. I am going to use there that is percent man okay for the memory. One more thing is that in the output fields you can give more options also. To list out all the options you can use the manual page of the ps command. I am going to open it with the nano okay and I am going to search for the standard format specifiers okay standard format then specifier right. So let me move further again 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 right. Now in this section you will see the list of the options that can be used as a dash o option right. So we had used here code as percent cpu similarly we used percent memory like that there are lot number of codes that can be used to print that values in the output. Okay, so you can check this out and whatever you require you can use it from here. Okay, it also gives you the description what is the meaning of various parameters, right. So let me close it and now we know that if we want to print the processes belonging to any particular user then we can change this variable name. Okay, that is the name of the user. For instance, if I am going to log in here with the name, let me clear this screen let's say sue dash l with the user 1 correct and I am going to give the password and I am going to run some command here okay let's say this was our command right which is running in the background and I am going to give a find command also okay so slash dash name and I am going to simply write here abc dot txt correct now if I write here instead of wiki that is the user 1 then you will see the processes of the user 1 will be printed okay. So let me expand it now you will see bash is running so bash shell is running then the find command is running and also the sleep command is running and at this moment it is sorted with the memory consumption okay. If you want to change it with the cpu then instead of percent mem you can write here percent cpu 
correct now you will see the find command at this moment out of these three processes is utilizing the maximum cpu okay you can also sort it with the cmd so i can write here cmd correct or we can use here pid also so i can simply write here pid right so in any way you can sort these processes so let me clear this screen now and i am going to cancel these processes also okay and here i am going to keep logging as user 1 right now let's create our shell script so first of all we are going to pass the name of the user from the command line so i am going to store the name of the user that is the username with the value as dollar one okay so the first argument that i will pass from the command line is going to be the name of the user right now before it i'll create a function and name of the function let's say user underscore proc okay then what i need to do i'm going to call this function that is the user underscore proc and i'm going to pass the value of the user underscore name okay now inside the function if i want to access the past arguments then i will have to write here dollar one correct so i can write here dollar one and we can again create a variable that is un okay now the first task for us will be to verify that the user exists in the system okay for that like always we are going to use the id command and give the username as dollar un okay and whatever is the output of this command we are going to store or pass it to the null so that it is not shown in the screen okay now if the exit status code of the id command should be equals to the zero okay only then the user exists in the system okay so if it is equals to the zero then we are going to run the ps command and if it is not equals to zero then we are going to write here echo the user that is dollar un does not exist in the system okay and after that we are going to close our if statement with the fee okay now if the user exists in the system then we are going to write here ps dash u the value of the username will change as per the un variable okay so we are writing here dollar un then dash o option for the output i'll provide here user that will print the name of the user then PID for the process ID, parent process ID, then CMD, then percent memory utilization and percent CPU. And I'm going to sort it with the decreasing order of the percent CPU. Okay. Now our shell script is ready and now let's execute it. All right. So I'm going to provide here name of our shell script that is user underscore proc and provide the user name as wiki. So it is going to print us all the processes that is owned by the wiki user with the decreasing order of the cpu utilization correct now one more thing that we can do along with passing the name of the user we can also pass the value by which it needs to be sorted for instance we can pass their minus percent cpu or cmd or pid ppid and with that particular parameter it will be sorted so for that what i am going to do i am directly going to pass the second argument to that function okay now in the first case i was storing the value in particular variable but for the second i am directly passing it you can also store it in some other variable then maybe pass it but for now i am directly passing it and now if i want to access that past value to our function then i can access it using the dollar 2 okay so i am going to sort it directly with the dollar that is 2 right so let's save our shell script and in this case i am going to pass here with the wiki then minus percent cpu correct so if i press enter you will see that it is at this moment sorting with the decreasing order of the cpu utilization now in the next i am going to pass here minus percent mem okay with the memory so in this case you will see it is sorting out with the decreasing order of the memory correct similarly we can pass here pid also right so i can write here pid so in this case you will see the processes are sorted with the increasing order of the process id okay similarly you can give the cmd also ppid that is parent process id also like that now let's try with the user that does not exist in the system so for that i'm going to pass the argument here as wiki as 
anything okay so in this case it will print us the user this one does not exist in the system and now let me try with the user one user okay so i'm going to pass here user one then you will see two processes are running by the user one that is bash and sleep if i run here another command that is the find okay now if i again execute our shell script there will be another process that is the find command so this is very simple shell script which can be utilized to print the user processes along with sorting it with some particular parameter okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see in the next video